chicken wing store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bubble going on, you leave. And I, and when you said it, I knew because when I go there, if I don't, if I don't go to the strip club, I'm gonna get me some chicken wings. Yeah. So when you said it, I knew what it was. But how was that for you navigating that? Because I, I mean, my was on your neck when that happened. It was difficult. It was difficult for me because I felt like it was getting to a point where you know all of the shit that I accomplished, I've carried myself over my career. Like they was just trying to attach some goofy shit to my name. And so I was, I was fighting the narrative. I was, I was fighting, yeah. I was fighting the narrative because they was trying to make me out to be a goofy. Like I was mm-hmm. out here tripping and I was like, come on, man, that never been my, that never been my MO. So let's not even, let's not start that. Like I'm getting to the end of my career. I'm in year 15 and y'all talking like I've been tripping this whole time. Everything that I did that day, I thought I did it responsibly. You know what I'm saying? And the just, it, it just, it took a life of its own. You know, it, it, it's actually birth businesses. It's birth nicknames. I, I get more, more lemon pepper than underground and all of that. It's like lemon pepper is here to stay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, it's here to stay. And, and I fought it for a minute because of, like I said, the way people were trying to perceive me, like, oh, I, the, I snuck out the bubble to go to Magic City. I'm like, come on, man. 